A man's body lies in the field, just tens of meters from the residential buildings. And it has been there for a several days now. Nearby, a destroyed Ukrainian tank and an armored vehicle are hiding in between destroyed residential buildings. Survivors can be seen sitting next to the rubble. They started a fire to stay warm. Остановите эту бойню. Бойню остановите, это невыносимо просто. Это забрали мою жизнь, забрали у людей всё. Нет жизни. Остановите бойню, пожалуйста, бойню остановите эту. Это убийство людей. Просто обычных людей, которые жили, работали, а теперь остались они с чем вообще? Heading deeper into Volnovakha, we came across more destroyed Ukrainian tanks, the remains of a church and destroyed homes along the way. At the town center, a local hospital now lies in ruins. There are still over 100 patients hiding in its cellars. Cannon shells, bullets and explosives are still seen in the corridors. Though the exact circumstances of battle are hard to verify, Senior staff claim Ukrainian forces were firing from inside the hospital. Outside, the survivors are lost as they don't know what's next for them. They're hungry, tired and petrified with fear, but also happy to be alive. But help hasn't arrived yet in this town, while bitterly cold temperatures remain here. In just seven days of fighting, Volnovakha became a ghost town. Countless lives lost, property destroyed, totally destroyed, and people walking the streets, roaming the streets, trying to find a piece of bread, water, any way of communicating with the rest of the world to explain that they are alive. This is horror.